On a more serious note, <laughs> this is something I'm dealing with in my life. I just I recently found out that the girl I'm dating, her ex is a Navy SEAL. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks dick, dude. That's the worst ex of all time. I never even thought it. You want to feel insecure as a man? That's the worst. I never, never even thought of that one. It's like, that could happen to me. I spent my whole life thinking, black guy, worst case on this. <laughs> and by the way, I mean that with all due respect to the black community, dude. For real. I wish people feared my dick like that. I, w I wish my dick struck fear into entire races. Nobody fears my dick, dude. Nobody fears my dick. Other than like women in parking garages, they... <laughs> You get me in a parking garage, all of a sudden, my dick's top of the food chain. <laughs> See me lurking behind a pillar in there. Just, just with a GameStop bag. Just. Nah, dude, Navy SEAL. It's a tough one. I do this thing, it's not a good thing, but whenever, whenever I'm dating a girl, I always talk shit on her exes. It's not a good look. Women don't respect it. <laughs> kind of makes me look like a bitch. <laughs> I like it. I, <laughs> I can't stop doing it. And normally it's easy. Normally it's like, what's your ex do? He's a fucking substitute teacher. It's weird he wants to hang out with kids. It's like, that bad. You know, like, <laughs> this one's tough. This is a tough ex to make fun of. This one, I'm walking around the apartment all day, just <laughs> fucking Navy SEALs. They're kind of pussies, if you really think about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like using night vision, sneaking up on guys. That's a fucking coward's way to fight, dude. You know who's actually brave? Al-Qaeda. That, that takes courage and bravery. Just in pajamas, throwing rocks at tanks. Heroic shit, dude. Just you and your boys going out. In flip-flops. You're all gonna get fucked up, dude. No training. Zero military training, dude. Those guys, those dudes, they had fucking, they had one set of monkey bars. That's what they all trained on. <laughs> and they were proud of the monkey bars. You remember that video? You've seen them using the monkey bars. They were, they, they filmed themselves using the monkey bars and then sent that tape out to the world like, not bad. A buddy of mine watches like, uh, like death videos on the internet. <laughs> I don't. He watches them. If we're hanging out, I'll watch. We watch. I watch. Fuck. I was over there at his place. We were watching. I don't know if you know this. The war in the Middle East is just on the internet. The whole fucking thing. Every dude out there on both sides was wearing GoPros the entire time. Like you can watch it. We watched like three hours of the war in Iraq. And after the first hour, I found myself starting to cheer, not cheer, but like, <laughs> relate. I felt like I could relate more to the monkey bars guys. You know what I mean? They were a little more my speed. You ever wonder how you would do out there? Watch those guys. Those are just normal fucking dudes. Second shots are fired. There's no game plan. Everyone's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Very relatable. Guns jamming. Trying to fire a rocket. It goes straight fucking backwards. <laughs> They're very, they look like me, trying to fire a gun. Their feet move when they shoot. <laughs> very relatable. They also have never won. They, ne they got fucked up every single time. Bad. They would blow up like one truck every five months. They'd be just as surprised as everybody. <laughs> Shit finally worked out. You could hear it in their voice. Someone would blow up, they'd be like, Oh! Hello! <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, that's a human reaction. That's relatable. That's what I would do if I saw a fucking explosion. I'd go, oh! <laughs> That's human. You ever watch us kill people? I can't relate to that at all. There's some Black Hawk helicopter with night vision. Mows down like 40 people. Pilot gets on, he just goes, clear. Just, <laughs> just flies away. It's like, yo, that's a psycho. That guy didn't give a fuck about that. At least ISIS is down there having fun, dancing afterwards. You know? It's like Ewok Village down there, you know? <laughs> Also, I'm not, 
I'm not actually pro ISIS. All right, it's just a Navy SEAL did fuck my girlfriend, <laughs> and I am having a pretty tough time dealing with that. It sucks, dude. Can't get it out of my head. Some fucking cool, jacked hero. Just getting tactical on my sweet baby's pussy. <laughs> Just clearing out every corner of my sweet angel's box. Just checking behind every door in there. Just clear, go, red team, advance. <laughs> now I'm in there fucking... Oh! <laughs> Look, I know we're laughing and having a good time, but for real, that does suck. That sucks. <laughs> that absolutely sucks. Sexually? Sexually, I have, to, I have to follow a fucking Navy SEAL? They never quit until the job's done, dude. That's their whole thing. I quit a lot, all right? <laughs> the job's done when I'm tired, which is usually pretty early into the mission. <laughs> My arms start shaking pretty early. They give out. Next thing you know, we're having belly-to-belly -belly missionary. <laughs> Just hunched over, breathing in her ear like a pug for five minutes. <laughs> Just coughing. Coughing during sex is funny. Just... <clears throat> you guys know belly-to-belly -belly missionary, dude. Don't fucking... I saw this crowd, dude. I see you, boy. A lot of belly belly tonight, dude. This guy's hunched over. Just... <sighs> you don't even think about that noise you're making in that poor woman's ear. Every woman in this room has heard that noise. You've never thought it. The only way I can describe it is like, you ever lay down and a dog starts sniffing your ear? That's what it sounds like. Every just. My girlfriend and I, we have sex, and it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. One thing that's funny about, though, is uh, it's a new enough relationship that my girlfriend's still loud during sex. You remember that? You remember that phase? It's still new enough in the relationship that my girlfriend, like, screams every time we have sex. And I'm just up there like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right, lady. I've seen women walk through this, no problem. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It's a nice gesture. And sometimes it tricks me. Sometimes I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe it's not going to fit. <laughs> no, it's going to fit. <laughs> it's going to fit. It's going to fall out a couple times. <laughs> no, the screaming, the screaming phase is about done. We moved in together, so that's when that, that's when that ends. Once you, before you live together, sex is like, yeah, fuck me, me. <laughs> Once you move in together, sex slowly becomes just... Some lady laying on a bed next to a pile of unfolded laundry, just... just <laughs> Ow, you're on my hair! <laughs> now, we live together now. My girlfriend moved in with me, so we have sex, and uh, as soon as we're done having sex, I wish that she would fucking evaporate. <laughs> <laughs> No? All right, no, you guys are right. I hate playing Xbox by myself, dude. What the fuck? I love having it around all the time. Fucking turning on lights. Asking me to hang out. No. No, we hang out. I'm just not used to it. I'm not used to... I'm not used to hanging out with a woman all the time. I'm not used to hanging out with women. I don't have any female friends. I'm more of a having a good time type of guy. You know? I don't even know what women do for fun. Just fucking fold shit or something like that? Huh? <laughs> Look, I know that's not the best joke of all time. From your seats, that's not the most well-crafted joke. What do women do? Fold shit? But from up here, from up here, it's a very, very funny joke. 
I get to say something as dumb as, what do women do, fold shit? And then look out and see about 15 different women going. <laughs> I understand most of the women here are girlfriends that were dragged to this show that already don't really like me because every time they're in their car, their boyfriend's like, baby, listen to this part of the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. There's a YouTube channel. It's this guy goes around and interviews World War II vets. And there's one guy, the first guy I watched, I think his name's Phila, Philippeck, F-I-L-I-P-E-K, Walter Philippeck. Just go ahead and say, hello, my name is. Hello, my name is Walter Vincent Philippeck. I was born in Raleigh, Raleigh County, Six Bottom. But this Walter guy, he's like 95 when he's getting interviewed. 49 backwards, that makes me 94. You know, because always in the World War II documentaries, they show the old guys, and they always start getting emotional and, like, tear up, you know, sure. rightfully so. Yeah. But this was the first guy I've ever seen that had literally zero PTSD and was just, like, smiling the whole time. <laughs> They'd ask him a question, and he'd be like, well, some of those Japs, they would have grenades when, you did, when you'd go to take care of them, so I'd bayonet them. And they're like, don't you think that's a little cool? He's like, yeah, it is cruel, but I done it. <laughs> he just smiles. He's giddy. Dude, there was one, the best line in it, though. He goes, he's like, they were like, were you ever, like, afraid while you were there? He's like, no, I didn't have a girlfriend back home. All I had was some family. I didn't care if I died. I didn't, he goes, I didn't care about nothing. I still don't care about nothing. It's just like, Damn, dude. dude. This guy's incredible. Yeah. I didn't care whether the sun come up next morning or not. It didn't bother me a bit, buddy. I didn't worry about nothing. I'd done what I had to do, and I did it. How old were you on the island? 18. <laughs> 18, buddy. Dude, <laughs> imagine hitting the diner. Just Purple oh, yeah. Heart, Bronze Star, right. All American Flag you can chug, man. Does he ever get he a He was Forrest Gump. Was he it? was Forrest Gump. I've never heard that he was just like, well, they told me to do it, so I done it. Napalming <laughs> caves filled with people. Damn, <laughs> It dude. was crazy. I mean, dude, he's taking orders. And he would also, dude, he executed a prisoner, and he talks about it. It's so funny. What'd he he's do? Like, he's like, so my commanding officer, he told me, now take that jab. He says jab a lot. I don't. Yeah. He said, like, now anymore. take that jab behind the line and come back in one minute. Well, the line was a lot further than that, and I didn't want to be out there by myself. So he takes this Japanese prisoner back, and he's like... I started searching him. He only had one picture on him. That's it. Nothing else. He wouldn't give it up. I said, yes, yes. He said, no, no. I said, yes, yes. I want the picture. Well, I looked at my watch, and time was going by. I had to shoot him, get the picture, but I did. Do that what to do. And he had a picture... Oh. And then it cuts to him holding up the picture. And, he no. goes, oh. and this is a picture I got from that Jap. They were lopping off Chinese heads. They were cutting off Chinese heads and putting them in a basket. That was the picture? That's the picture. That was the keepsake? Yeah, the keepsake. Oh. The Japanese guy had a picture of them cutting off Chinese heads. I thought it would have been a picture of his sweetheart. No, no, no you would think. Yeah. The guy was like, I'm not giving this up. This picture's too tight. It, it was tight. It was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was his it was, enemies. It was him and his boys chopping off heads in front of the Great Wall of China. <laughs> the Great Wall of China was behind them. He had to get like, that back to his bro. Walter, Walter goes, At the Great Wall. The Great Wall of China, and that is something to see, too. I've been all over it. That guy, Walter Philippeck. Jesus, Might man. be the best dude I've ever seen. American hero. He Easily. literally, truly might be the goat. Yeah. Oh. Like, just be like, because every, everybody, you know, they're always like, I was over there. The only thing I cared about was the guy next to me, all that stuff. He's just like, I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't care at all. He says, I'm going to dig a hole here and, and uh, shit in your hole. I said, no, you ain't. This is my home, my castle. I said, you ain't going to shit in my house. He says, I'm a sergeant. I said, you might be a sergeant, but to me, you're a shit bird like everybody else. They'll kill you. There's one time he's, Walter's in his foxhole. They set off a flare in the middle mm -hmm. of the night. And he said there was a Japanese dude just right at the foot of his foxhole about to jump in. So he shoots him. 
and the guy like fell into the foxhole and there's two other guys that were sleeping were like who's that or like what what the fuck was that and yeah. he's just like just somebody that shouldn't have been here <laughs> and then I went back to sleep <laughs> he just woke up blasted dude <laughs> tucked himself back in and one more step that Jap been on top of us so I shot him he fell down over the cliff and boy jumped up what happened I said, we're just about out of unwanted visitor in there. I said, I'm going to bed now. Y'all can have us from here. So next morning, I walked all the way around, went down there, got a long jeans rust off of him, got a Japanese flag, got a rifle. I've got the, I got the wristwatch, and I got the flag yet. <clears throat> that must have been so sick back then, just to have like a nasty autist in the foxhole. Oh, Bro, yeah. he... Well, I, Man, there's so many good ones. I watched an hour and a half. I could listen to yeah, I could listen it was to this for and it's just five hours. straight cameras just on Walter sitting there like, well, how high were his pants? Matt, the pants. The people fine. wanted to know about the pants level too, though. I mean, you assume they're high. It's a dumb question. They're obviously high. They're nipple chafers. There's no way he's sagging. Yeah. No, he steps no, up and he's just sagging. <laughs> yeah, he's suspenders or no suspenders. No suspenders, dude. Just an American American flag buttoned down, with his medals pinned to his shirt. <laughs> But he, uh, yeah, some of them are rough to watch. Some of the geezers. Oh, they're not all a blast? No, they're not all a no, they're, they're, they're not all a hoot The atrocities like Walter. of the Pacific Theater? <laughs> dude, Walter didn't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. Everybody else is just broken, and Walter's just like, I did it. I did what I had to do, so I done it. He has a necklace of ears. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, here's what I was saying. So they, he lands on, I think it was Okinawa. So he gets there. There was like a Japanese dude like 500 yards away. Like they could see him. And he's talking to his commanding officer, and he's like, I'm going to put some tracers in, and I'm going to shoot him. And they were like, you can't hit that. No chance. So Walter fucking lit this dude up. And the guy's like, I'm glad I'm on your side. He's like, well, I come here to kill. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> just, <laughs> just murdering people. What practical. are tracers? <laughs> uh, tracer is a bullet. You know how they when they light up? Yeah. That's a tracer. Oh, really? So those aren't all the... You know, in uh, in Fury, there's a lot of like it almost looks like lasers. Just kinda, yeah, yeah, that's because every like third or fourth round you is see a light, so you can see yeah. where it's going. Oh, damn! Yeah, he just lit a guy up. He just lit him up. Dude. And when we hit there, Gunny Sergeant, I said, Gunny, there's a brush pile moving up there. He said, You're crazy, Walt. I said, I might be, but I got good eyes. So I said, Put your glasses on him. And this Japanese was trying to get to a truck. And I said, uh, Gunny, I'm going to empty my regular bullets, put tracers in there. And I said, I'm going to kill him. He said, no, you ain't 500 yards. I said, Gunny, you ever hear of Kentucky Windage? He said, yes, I have, old Sergeant York. So I emptied my regular bullets, put tracers in it. And I said, now you tell me up over what now? Because that's the only way I'm going to get him. After the fifth shot, I got him. He said, boy, I'm glad you on our side. I said, yeah, I come here to fight. And I'm ready. I said, they taught us to kill or be killed in the Marine Corps. He said, yeah, that's the old saying, kill or be killed. See, yeah. <laughs> Tommy was explaining how you, say, you have to I put it on and you have a Coca-Cola with my chicken tenders. <laughs> I'll just have the chicken tenders. <laughs> this would be perfect with your future face. You should start doing that for stand-up. <laughs> you guys have a kid's menu? <laughs> Can I get the quesadilla? <laughs> just cheese, no salsa. <laughs> you just on a Vespa? Just plain. Take it back to the window. What is this green stuff? <laughs> yeah. I didn't want that. You should take a nap on stage and put it down over your eyes and just make let me rest right here and Ooh. just take a nap. <laughs> Get and then just lift your hat up every five minutes and go, well, let me tell you a little something hey, about this. Hey, folks, let me tell you a little story. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking tight. Yeah, my... Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, let me tell you a little story. My uh, my uncle's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you a little tale about uh, my retarded uncle. <laughs> His hunger required some... Grilled cheese sandwiches. Boys meaner than a rattlesnake. <laughs> and boys sweeter than your mama on the front door of lemonade sitting around. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, Mama's backstrap molasses pancakes on a Sunday morning. Oh, you get some of them flapjacks that's coming out of the old water. <laughs> flapjacks. Go back out for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like. <laughs> There's an arena full of people on the edge of their seats. They're just like, this guy is a fucking genius. <laughs> He's asleep again. This is my favorite. He reminds part. me of guys from my hometown. That's what I like. About <laughs> the episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. If Cut work... my life into yeah. pieces. <laughs> if your work life balance is Save totally me. off. <laughs> <laughs> and you're starting to feel burnout, therapy can help. If you're about to break. <laughs> BetterHelp's online therapy is an incredible tool. Whether Everything you're... you say to me. One step closer to the end, and I'm about to break. Whether you're working through a really serious crisis, or you want someone to help you set some new goals, BetterHelp makes life's path easier to walk. You know, I have been considering annihilating my family for a while now. <laughs> Just uh, taking my wife, holding her underwater until there's no more vibrancy left in her No eyes. more chatting. Mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah, go, yeah. enough of the chats. It's oh, time for you to yeah. swim. Oh, you had to fly regular class back from New Zealand? I'm so sorry. Help me, I'm poor. No. Ooh, that's a real one. <laughs> no, but hey, when I need to not kill my entire family and then myself and do the only brave thing a man can do, I like to get a hold of my better help therapist. There you go. Yeah. Uh, BetterHelp is completely online, so you can meet with a counselor whenever and whenever it works for you. You can meet with your therapist. I can't wake oh. up. <laughs> well, you can wake this guy up inside. Over video call, phone call, or even message. It's easy to get started. Just take a quick quiz on their website, and BetterHelp's experts will match you Crawling with a therapist. Crawling in my skin. <laughs> If their first pick is wounds, they will not heal. If their first pick isn't a winner, you can switch therapists at any time, no questions asked. In the season of giving, give I yourself never thought what you need. With all the times that I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> he does sound, he does sound I was fast. a highway man. <laughs> In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash MSSP today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash MSSP. Many a soldier shed his lifeblood on my blade. <laughs> He's the coward of the county? <laughs> oh, All right. Wait, your phone lock. Let me unlock it. Face Attention, this is a message from Aura oh, Frames. An Aura digital picture frame is the only gift this season that you can give to the whole family. Whether your brother is a working class hipster who wants to display his before and after photos, cough, sweet baby, take my brother's name out of your mouth. What? You motherfuckers. Or you just stumped on what to get your mom and grandma for the holidays, and Aura Frame will not disappoint. My grandmas are fucking dead. Yeah, dude, thanks a fucking <laughs> Listen lot. to the podcast. You're not a dog. <laughs> All the dogs know both my grandmas, my sweet mamas yep. are dead. Same. Yeah, this is a grandmotherless podcast. You can. How old is she? You have a grandma? <laughs> Not for long. Everyone this likes you. It's King Tut's tomb. It's flickering. You got a nice one. You received a nice gift. I received one. Bert mm -hmm. Kreischer gave me one as a gift. What, a holiday, what a holiday treat. Wait, was it loaded? It might be loaded. I haven't plugged mm -hmm. it in yet. There I think it's fully loaded. Fun They're loaded. a great way, dude, for real. They're a great way to trade, you know what? <laughs> Nudes. Terabytes of illegal <laughs> <laughs> He's, dude, that's a great prank. You send your buddy an aura loaded with CP. Oh, baby. <laughs> hey, turn it's it a, on. Show everyone your gift like from Bert. Yeah. Still artwork. Pop <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, watch rumors that you and fucking Dwight Howard got nuts. Dude. I think all roads lead to sucking Dwight Howard eventually. I think eventually, if you just grind hard enough, you're just going to be at a party. You're invited to the sickest party. But there's so many fucking. Didn't you say gay dudes have the biggest dicks, too? Yeah, statistically. So if you're a 6'10 black dude, gay guy. that's gay. It's the top of the mountain. His dick, Dwight Howard's dong must be. It's top of the mountain. Yeah, they say statistically gay guys have bigger penises than straight guys. Because it's some like hormonal hey, thing. Guess who's straight as hell, partner? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever wondering. Yeah, dude, guess like, who's straight as hell? I had a, like a. No, I stand by Kamala, and I love her track record in Baltimore. You like what she did? I like what she did. Lock him up. That's true. That's Kamala, was. dude. That's me and Kamala on the same page. Lock him up. We need to incarcerate as many African Americans as possible. <laughs> Thank you, Kamala That's Harris. Your ticket. That's your ticket. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get a shirt. I'm gonna get American 3.0. No, Yo, you can do whatever Lock you want. Up. By the way, you can write whatever you want on it. 
increase the jail population. Increase the, <laughs> the military industrial <laughs> complex that we have, dude. It rules. We need to go. We need to go back to Iraq. That's America 3.0. Get back in there, Yo, ruffle, for, ruffle some for feathers, sure, dude. That's what I'm saying. We got to go over the Middle East and bomb. we got to bomb. Corporations here. need zero tax cuts. I'm gonna give my dad zero one. taxation. Fuck my, that. My dad would be like, let's just bomb the whole Middle East and start over. And everyone's <laughs> yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, dad policy would definitely be like France is gay. That's our number one <laughs> diplomatic measure. War on France. <laughs> War on France just by calling them gay. Turn the Middle East to glass. Start over. <laughs> They ought to do that, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was in Phil's ass, too. He got a cold. Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh. I heard him. He was a motherfucker about it. Mm -hmm. Dude, we got pizza. Stuck his hands all over the pizza. I was like, you're such a fucking dickhead. Took a bite of a sub and put it back. What a dick. Chaos. What was it? When was this? Last night? Two nights ago, yeah. So, Saturday night, you guys had pizza party? Yes. We had some pizza. Pizza night is usually Friday night. Pizza night was, well, we you had guys, friends over. You guys bumped pizza night back for us and cooked bumped steaks? Bumped pizza for Saturday so that I stayed home and then argued with my dad. Classic Saturday night. What'd you, what'd Saturday you, night <laughs> fever. It was me and my dad. <laughs> I'm like, you're being an asshole. You're sick, dude. What if you have it? Yeah, really? Just go to your room. And he was like, you fuck, get out of my house. <laughs> yeah. So he yeah. touched all the za. He touched all the za. What the fuck? Why was he doing that? I think he was drunk. Was he really? I think he had a couple of drinks, and he was like, "You're being an asshole. It's a cold, Shane." And I was like, "Even if it's just a cold, stop touching all the food." This yeah, happens, that has to be the opposite of like dads pulling their daughters out of strip clubs. Like, you have to want your son to get into a TikTok house. You want really? Them in. You want them in? Oh, dude, because they become millionaires. They're they do super become, hot. That's dirty money, dude. They do become millionaires. No one, none of them care. I just, I hate it. I'd hate it too. I don't. Now it's funny as a you know fat thirty year old on Patreon. To criticize these jacked, jacked, jacked as fuck, I'll say jacked. bulking, currently bulking, currently gains, <laughs> currently gains, so I can fucking. Haha. <laughs> 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 what song? Boys. What song would you do? I like my with lettuce and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you smile as you slowly shoot your butthole. <laughs> yeah, the camera down underneath with my sack up. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's good TikTok. No, Brittany I took think, a picture uh, of me last night. I was by the bed. Like, I'm always naked at nighttime. So she was like, go yeah. go see if you can make my go. So she's been waking up every night at like, dude, 12 o'clock, 11.30, just fully awake for like three hours. It's fucking nuts. So she was like, go try to put her to sleep. And... uh so we have like a baby monitor. She took a picture of me through the baby monitor. <laughs> I was naked, just sitting in there because I would like put her in the crib and I just sit in the chair. So like I'm next so to her. So through the baby monitor. So dude, was it like night vision? <laughs> night vision, dude. It's so fucking. Fun. I was you actually probably look very scary in it, dude. It's probably like actually a scary photo. <laughs> oh my god, dude! You're leaving Dunkles. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I was fully Why are you dunk Why are you dunk Because I was naked. I thank God I was holding my bird, dude. And she just snaps a picture of me Grinch bellied out. Fucking <laughs> I have like Grinch body to the max, dude. <laughs> this your body doesn't make sense, dude. I've <laughs> I've seen, I've seen you. Sure, I've seen I'm you, dude. You, it's, a, it's a bad angle. Dude. It's the craziest night angle. Vision, night vision adds like thirty pounds. Dude. Night vision <laughs> adds giant tits. <laughs> Show the fucking dude. You gotta see. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> It's not my true body, dude. It's not my no, true body. No, don't show the camera. <laughs> Why would you show them? I'm going to dunk them, dude. I don't true, care. True, true. You should post that on your... Give me that. Like, I can't please. Please let me post that on no, my Instagram. No, no, no. Please. Dude. It's not an actual representation of my body, dude. You know I, know, I don't have fucking so tits. funny. I know you don't. No, it looks don't like you have tits in it. Like, it looks like I have like fucking Bam Bam, full. like Mark Henry tits. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. So she sends me that, and I was like, fucking oh, pissed. I was like, that would piss me off so much. <laughs> and like, we were already kind of in a So you're just sitting in a rocking chair in your kid's room like that? Yeah. You're I'm terrifying. Why? That's terrifying. I'm trying to get her to go to bed. You look like the witch from <laughs> The Witch, dude. You look like The Witch. 
I do. I do. Exactly like the bitch. Exactly like the bitch. Uh, And someone's probably like Matt. You're like, okay. So imagine, imagine that. Go to sleep. Imagine me seeing that and being like, people need to see me on HBO. (laughs) People need to reconcile this. It's like, no, man. You just keep it to yourself. It's like, yeah. Either you get shredded and get on X Men, or you just kind of like put on a oh, scarf man. and you know you're somebody's eccentric yeah, best friend. Just be, f- yeah. The, I don't know what, yeah. The, I mean, dude, night vision turns you into a creature, dude. Night vision's actually. I've been a working creature. hard on my body, dude. And I saw that. I was like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Must be like a fish eye lens on that or something. Dude. <laughs> so I, sh- I should have left my dong uncovered, dude. I could have got I like know. a fat fucking dog oh. shot dude especially dude if you had a penis in that that'd be oh. the worst photo of all time <laughs> i mean i mean if you had a, let's be real. a penis sticking. i did have a penis in that i was yeah. covering it let's be real but damn yeah true yeah I've, even I've even naked in the dark i'll cover a penis you have to by myself in a room i'd still be like oh, no, <laughs> no one sees this <laughs> somehow hopefully there's not a night vision camera i forgot about dude man someone room raiders you and just sees your penis <laughs> Fuck, dude, that, that be, picture is it's so funny, dude. That picture. Oh my god, I was actually, I, mean, I would especially you have like your sleep cap on I your. <laughs> <laughs> I have my mask thing. I usually block all the light out, dude. That picture. I me would, up, dude. I'd be so mad at whoever took that. <laughs> Let me see it again. I know this isn't great for. The- <laughs> It's the pixelation made me look like I had titties, dude. If like, <laughs> my belly, I'll, I'll take the belly. The belly's mine. That was, you know, that's just a, that's after nighttime eating, dude. <laughs> and I'm in a rocking chair, so I'm, mo- I'm moving a little. <laughs> 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 dude, what, are you, what are you holding? My bird. That, no, on the, <laughs> your other hand. Let me see. Let me see what I'm holding. Oh, uh, maybe nothing. Maybe it's the bottom of the chair. All right. Oh, I'm man. probably just clutching a blanket, dude. Yo, that picture is so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> it's, That's... it's like a Dali painting, dude. Looks it's... like, I'm, looks like my, I'm melting. <laughs> it's like scary. <laughs> uh, Fuck, dude. dude. That needs to be released to the public. Brittany will be so mad. She gets so mad when risque pictures are released. We can cover your face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that one too. You can cover I... the least embarrassing part. No, I can, I'll, uh, that, that would be a good one to release, honestly. That's important for the people to see that picture. If there's any girls out there, they'd be like, ew. <laughs> ew. Suddenly, I'm the heartthrob of the group. <laughs> ew. You know, it's not that bad. <laughs> Seriously, Matt naked. <laughs> He's like 70. <laughs> and fat. Fuck me. He's like a fat 70. Oh. <laughs> when, you, when you're getting recruited, are you like, I should try harder? No, I was just like, I got it. I don't need to work hard at all. You were like, they love yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Were dudes, so as someone that was shitty at football, asking someone that was good at football, were there, were there dudes like slobbing your not calling you house and being like, yeah, when you're, when you're getting recruited, yeah. They're like, hey, bud. Yeah. Because I got recruited, but I got recruited by the military. <laughs> I had the Army and, mili- and Marines calling me being like, hey, you're pretty fucking dumb. Why don't you come yeah. fight? <laughs> yeah. Which I would have been right in Afghanistan. That yeah. was right when I would have gone in. But You should have. Oh my god! I would have been. It would have made you me had such orange a, peels during artillery. It's so like we're getting <laughs> shelled, and I go. I just hold up the. I hold up the bullets. Guy's like, all right, that's uh, funny. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> but when they're calling you, or is your dad like Shane? Maine is on the phone. Yeah, Maine was one of them. Yeah, it's cool. It was the best in school when they would. They always come to your high school, and in class, somebody calls over the speaker and is like, Shane to the office, and it's like. Dude, when I got an Not office call, deal. that was Boston like... Boston College is here. Not really? Big, well, they were there. They just... Schools, they just come by. They just meet with everybody. Yeah. Where they're like, this kid's big enough to play D1, I'll meet Yeah, him. and then I did like a scout.com combine at West Virginia, and that was kind of the end of my D1 R- hopes. Really? I ran like a six-second 40. <laughs> they were like, oh my God. Was there a moment where... And, and I just... If I've seen disappointment in the eyes of so many people yeah. throughout playing football. Was that your first time where you saw disappointment where you go like... Oh no! Like it was that feeling of like oh no! Because well, like anybody in high school, all our forty times were hand timed by our coach. So they made it look. So good. I went into it going like I run like a five one. <laughs> I'm fast. I'm the fastest <laughs> fucking lineman you're ever gonna see. It was yeah. It was. But then you had that moment where they were like, oh yeah, it was a it was a I think the guy timing it was a player for West Virginia, oh. like a D back, like and was just like damn. Oh, no. did you walk over? And I heard him say it, and I was like, "No way!" 
He goes six one, and you're like, I was like, ooh, that's like impossibly slow. And at this camp, are you staying overnight there, or is it like a day? No, it was thing? a one day. So you just go and do it. Yeah, because when it you sucked, oh, it was my. in the summer. I would, you have to wear those like sleeveless Under Armour shirts with the number on the yeah, yeah like the was, combine. Yeah, and it was. I just was covered in blisters from sunburn. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, your freckled shoulders. Just to do like a beating. long jump. I think I did like three feet. Was there anything like you excelled at? Down. Was there any like bench press? I did good on the one-on-ones. The oh, blocking. Just, yeah. Just get in your stance yeah, and go. That was, I felt good about that. You're like, yeah, so I can fucking yeah. play. Yeah, but I, I didn't bet. know I was blocking wrong. So I was like just using leverage and putting the guy on the ground. That's sick. Pancakes, baby. It's, it's not a pancake. That's how you get. And then I did it in college and they were like, you're going to tear everybody's knees. You can't block like that. <laughs> like you get yelled at for that. They'll be like, don't you'll yeah, rip yeah, it. Cause yeah. you're just like jerking yeah, a guy. Just right? Throwing a guy on the ground next to the guy who's blocking next to me. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you'll end his career. Yeah. Cause he'll, he'll get, he'll get moron. tripped and roll yeah, up. Yeah, and yeah. The, yeah. that's nuts. Did you wear knee braces? Yeah. In college you have to. You have to. Yeah. It's just standard. Yeah. I mean, I would, because I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. I got I got the cool knee brace when I tore my knee in high school. You got like the... But it was in 2006, so the knee braces weren't they did, great. They, yeah, they didn't have like the game. It was a giant piece of metal. You couldn't move your yeah. leg. It looked like you were bashing two yeah. beers together. Yeah, it was bad. You had to wear it over like wrestlers. Yeah. Did you, when you tore your MCL and they gave you that knee brace, did you rock it at school? No. Okay. That thing stunk, dude. It, oh, yeah. Like <laughs> hockey pads? <laughs> stunk. Just fucking smelled. Yeah. Go. Like, that's dude, what I mean if by... If I didn't have... If I didn't play in college, I would seriously think I was... The man. So good at... You were going to combines? Yeah. People were pulling you out of class? Yeah. You were the fucking man. I found out. But then you go to college... And I found out. And you got humbled. Those guys were trying. Yeah. Very and like, hard. And were disciplined? Yeah. Would you go drink when... Like, you yeah, played at Elon, right? I got drunk before a game. Which game? Uh... I forget who we were playing. Did you know you were playing? No, I knew I wasn't going to play. How funny so is that? I was that? just getting drunk. Dude. It was Notre Dame, Michigan. It was the year oh. Notre Dame got smoked by Michigan at home. <sighs> Brady Quinn's senior year. So it was Ty, who was the coach? Ty? That was Charlie Weiss. Charlie Weiss. Okay. Yeah. But I, there was just a bunch of beer from the night before. And, and you was, were like. I just got drunk and watched college game day. Great. But then I had to do warm ups before the game. And were you like, <laughs> were you like more chatty than normal? Like, no, I was just like, holy fuck, I'm going to get in so much trouble. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes when you get drunk, you get like brazen behavior. I knew I was never going to play. And so, uh, like, I was certain if, if every O lineman got hurt, <clears throat> they'd put like a fullback in before they put me in. Really? I sucked. And you didn't get, so you didn't play that game when you were drunk? No. Because I, I never to, played one game. Dude, what's funny is in high school, I would like my junior year, I was like suiting for varsity. Yeah, but I was like, I, I I probably won't play. So I'd get high and eat like, dude. I ate Carl's Jr. I ate so much Carl's <laughs> Jr. And we were playing Mullen, who's better than Creek, and we were getting blown out. Yeah, our coach read us the little engine that could before the game. Oh no! And one of our coordinators that didn't like him just went, Jesus Christ! And just walked <laughs> out of the gym. We were away. We got crushed by Mullen, forty nine to zero. But that was the full game, dude. They pulled the linebacker. I was chilling with Chad on the sideline because yeah. he's a kicker. So I could always hang with my boy. <laughs> and we're just chilling. And they go, Soder. And I was like, what? No. And I couldn't find my helmet. <laughs> and then I looked at Chad and I went, I ate so much Carl's Jr. <laughs> and I just went in and was like uncomfortable. Dude, I was getting fucking tossed around. The guy that I was gar that I was lining up on as an outside linebacker played at Nebraska. Yeah. Like he played <laughs> yeah, tackle killed. at Nebraska. Yeah. And the tight end for Mullen that year was this kid, Alex Smith. This kid, he's a man. Yeah. He played at Stanford and went on to play for the Buccaneers <laughs> and a couple other teams. Dude, they were grabbing me. Remember I told you, like, that kid in the pool? But I had a full tummy of burger and fries with ranch. So they're, like, tossing me, and I'm getting up and going, like, oh, oh. <laughs> like acid reflux. I'm like, oh, oh. dude, it was horrible. All, all football was to me was just a giant ass kicking. <laughs> yeah. That's all it was. And I laid out a couple of dudes. That's nice, though. Dude, it feels great. It's the best feeling. I recommend everyone going yeah. through that. Just so the one time you stick someone in an egg app, you go like, that felt fucking yeah, great. Yeah, it's a good feeling. But I only had those for so few and far between. Between me just, <laughs> just getting up being like, God, Mullen's better than Creek. These guys are good. These guys fucking, these guys. These guys and then watching him go on to the NFL, you're like, that guy kicked the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if amateur boxers do that. Like whoever Definitely. got lit up by like Floyd Mayweather yeah. when they were like young, they're like, 
Hey, I that told guy. you that guy was good. <laughs> the hey, fuck? Everyone remember, was making fun of me for getting knocked out. Go, hey, Stacy, come in here. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? That guy beat the hell out of me in front of you on like our third day. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> when you tough. thought you were marrying a champion? That's got to be tough. Being Dude. a fighter. Deliver packages. Yeah, how's someone deliver Dude, packages? Do you remember when I did Uber for... Yes. <laughs> I did four rides over the course of like two years. You never yeah. Uber, dude. Never did it. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, I need to get money this week. Yeah. Video games. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'll be like, I'm going to wait till night. You would do like I'd be like, I'm more of a nighttime like driver. <laughs> I'm going to wait till traffic's done, <laughs> which which is the only time you should be Ubering yeah. is when there's fucking traffic. It is like, weird. I'll wait till like, it's, it's, and it's, then we go to an open mic and then I'd I be can't blacked imagine, out. I can't imagine being an Uber driver here, just sitting in traffic all fucking day yeah. long to go into a place that has, yeah. you have no interest in. Yeah. yeah You're not getting up. out of the car at the end of the ride. Especially in Philly, it was just picking up Asians. Yeah. yeah. It was just because oh, we were right by the you art go museum. Again. So it was just. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I just crashed my car. So it was just. Uh... I need. Right... I just crashed. Thank God you're here. I just crashed my fucking car again. <laughs> and I'd have a massive boner and instantly I'd be like, what the fuck am I doing, dude? And then I would just go back and to the Then you'd bus. go back to the kitchen where your mom was teaching. <laughs> 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 you were definitely homeschooled, dude. I was not homeschooled. <laughs> All right, quick. What middle school did you go to? Don't worry about yeah, it. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> you were absolutely homeschooled. I was not homeschooled. <laughs> Let me show you my yearbook photo. Please. I actually can't. I have no idea how picture. I'd find that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a Christmas card. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! I forgot all about that. What an insane thing to say. That's like that has to be like the 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 best like slight insult. Just ask oh, yeah. someone if they're homeschooled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. No, I don't know a single person who's normal who is homeschooled, except me. You, you were You're homeschooled. I was homeschooled, obviously. Ah, oh, you fucking asshole. The captain asshole. of the football team. Yeah. <laughs> homeschooled. I was in the backyard running drills. He walked on. My he dad was like, someday you could be a captain if you keep doing this. <laughs> doing ladder drills in the backyard. Hitting the sled. Yeah, it's so sick. There's hitting nothing the sled better rules. Than the sled Dude, I see bros, sleds. Dude. I'm like, oh my God, I wish. Although that was like kind of the shittiest part of practice. The sled? Sled was shitty. You could also fake lift on the sled, though. Yeah, but then the I was tackled, so you could really tell which, uh, it would start to turn. who was pushing. Yeah, as a guard, you'd be comfortably in there to fucking center. You're fucking yeah, chilling, chilling. Yeah, yeah, that is true. They start spinning. Yeah, you can't start like, spinning a little. The coach who's riding, it's like, come on. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What are you gay? Like, <sighs> I'm fucking sixteen. Yeah. You fucking drunk. <laughs> You weird drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about just dudes high school, like in high school, like dudes will like grab you. Mm -hmm. You know, like a coach will be like, "Come on, hit me! You oh, can yeah. hit me for real. It's not gonna hurt." And like, <laughs> <laughs> while you're holding like the shield, you know that like pad, he'd be like, "Now you get under it and you fucking drive up." <laughs> Jesus, coach. We had a coach. My <laughs> they all did that. Yeah, they every hold, hold it. I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, this hurts. <laughs> we had a freshman coach that challenged our running back to like a one on one drill. <laughs> and he was obviously not wearing pads. Yeah. And he got cracked in his face with a helmet. Oh. <laughs> he was like, oh. Just blood. It was wonderful. I we probably, a, we he probably a, loved it, dude. Oh, it was sick. <sighs> yeah. We had a high school baseball coach who was like playing catcher, like in practice, got hit right in the arm. Arm like exploded. Oh, really? Shattered. You were a high school baseball player. No. Just, just got made his way around the town. Oh, you're just, you're just watching from your window. <laughs> <laughs> from your bedroom. <laughs> Here's all the chain yeah. <laughs> One day I'll be a real boy. One day I'll ba play baseball. 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 <laughs> got home. Like, Mama. Mom, what's baseball? <laughs> baseball is the devil. <laughs> I invented baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Columbus was a Nubian Kang. <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> Came here Dude, bearing they, geometry. They, the black Israelites in uh, D.C. Uh, that used to chill outside the gallery place uh, movie theater. Uh, they, I remember one time I was like, I think I, I just saw Django. 
And uh, I walked out. You went out, to talk to them about it? And I was like, have you seen this movie? It's phenomenal. No, yeah. You would love it. Um, <laughs> sir, you would love it. You're going to like the end. If Jew to Jew. Jew to Jew between us. Yeah. <laughs> but I just think they're, they're taking the Israelite part more seriously. Um, No, but like, they were like, they, they had a megaphone. You know the megaphone guys? Uh-huh. They were like, they, they were like, yeah, they got gay animals now. The animal's all gay. And then this white woman's like, you can't say that. And he's like, like, suck my dick, bitch. <laughs> he like literally got in her face. It was so funny. She started crying. Good. It is just moths yeah. to a flame for white women. Oh, I love yeah. it. They, they can't just can't help they can be like, okay, I do need to say something now. Mm. Dude, there was and then a, they just get fucking destroyed. My, my, yeah, I love because they always try to they start with emotion that's like, I care about you. Your yeah. pain, I can feel it. But you need to be, be quiet on my terms. Yeah. <laughs> they always start there and then and then it gets to the well, argument. They also and have generations. Trauma. Yeah, I'm gonna call the police. Yeah, yeah. sometimes a slap. Yeah. Call the state. I've seen one where a lady got slapped. I think she hit first and without <laughs> hesitation, dude. Damn, you no hesitation. Dude, How could she slap me? <laughs> <laughs> right back at her, dude. There was a <laughs> yeah, they would, and then or tour, it was just tourists because it was the art museum. Asian tourists. Yeah. They're I want to see there. the bear. They want to see the river to bear. <laughs> so what happened to this bear? Somebody crashed a car into it? The bear fucking cut. This is a car Lucky steps. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they do swim to the rocky stuff, though. They love rocky. They rocky. Of course they love rocky. It's a big... Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Rocky's a hit. For yeah, because sure. well, that's, that's like karate to them. Right? Yeah. Like that's their thing is karate and boxing. Like yeah, no feet of, karate. No feet karate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the soccer of karate. Reverse soccer karate. That's what they call it in China. <laughs> they actually Re- chant that in front of the statue every day. That sketch we wrote like <laughs> eight years ago. What is this like reverse soccer <laughs> karate? <laughs> yep. I picked up some krauts one time and they were they were like, the city's disgusting. Mm-hmm. And I was just like. How dare I they? I was so close. How to dare just, they? Did they say you, it like that? Because Germans, you guys, Germans are you usually guys polite. Germans are like nice. Yeah, but nobody's nice to a fat white Uber driver. Really? Uh-huh. No one cares. Mm. Yeah, people oh, treat dude, you those Koreans, weird when you drive dude, those Koreans Uber. were so mean to me. Who was? Those Korean boys. Yeah, they're tough. They they're were fucking, very dude, top dude, down. Dude, they're they're bad boys. They were speaking dude, in Korean and then boys. broke for one second to be like, this fucking guy. Yeah. Like It was one of those like colloquial, or I guess, is that the right word? What kind of Koreans were they? Were they like fast and furious kind? No, they were like oh, university. Oh, international. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Virginia Tech shooter vibe. <laughs> yeah, they but they packed it, dude. I was driving this yeah. small ass Corolla. Yeah. Fucking five of them got it. And the one that talked shit was like in the middle, like leaning forward. So he was like right here. Yeah. What was he saying? He was speaking fucking, you know, oh, bullshit. Yeah. yeah. And then I know one, of the, one of the things was like, oh, fuck him. You know? Fuck yeah. okay, him. I remember the date because it was 9 11 when I got the news. That I was gonna be on. That's pretty. That's a great 9/11. Yeah, it was a good 9/11. It was another good 9/11. Yeah. True. Add it to the board. So far, I've had nothing but good 9/11s. No, the one you know. The one first bad one, one was spoiled a bunch. Nuts. Yeah. Recess all day. True. I had no clue what was going on. I got to watch TV in the daytime. Get to watch TV in class. Teachers are crying. You're like, this is crazy. <laughs> and your enemies are just sobbing. Your enemies like, fell, dude. We had to go to the church. Teachers you crying. Went to church? We went to church. They sent us right home. We went to church, and then certain kids started getting picked up. And I was like, damn, I wish my parents would fucking pick me up. Of course they didn't. Yeah. I just spent the full day at recess. <laughs> did you guys get like? Did you guys have school the next day? Uh, I don't remember. I think I do not we had, recall. I think we I'm pretty sure we just yeah, yeah, no I one, think it was business as usual. And then that that was when everybody started talking. They're like, they're gonna get us. <laughs> they're going for we, fucking. McCarrick'sburg has such a huge <laughs> Navy depot. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, dude, they, they're targeting the Navy depot. New York City was first. McCarrick'sburg is next. They want McCarrick'sburg. <laughs> they did get fucking Somerset. Oh yeah. Crash Who knows? The they were trying to hit those wind turbines. In the Fertile Crescent. <laughs> trying to up the price of oil. It took me years to understand the significance of that. I was kind of like, what's the big deal? Yeah. New York. I was like, okay. It's like a bunch of people died. I'm like, well, seems like a decent amount. But... Yeah. It's crazy yeah. that they thought it was like 20,000 people. Yeah. Originally. I mean, they did the math on how many people worked there every yeah. day. And it's like an, an insane amount. Yeah, who yeah. Would have thought we had eighteen thousand quiet quitters. <laughs> 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 we 
Where the hell were you guys? <laughs> Dude, I was watching. <laughs> so there's this 9-11, there's a 9-11 documentary. Uh, it's like the best one. It's It was on the History Channel and it was, uh, it was just footage. Mm. It was just chronological and it was home f- home videos. Yeah. And one of them's these students from NYU. I've seen that video. And they're like, ah! ah! But I never and they're all saw, drinking beer. They never showed, in the documentary, they never showed them drinking. Yeah. And then, like, like this week, this week, a video <laughs> came out. They're yeah. all like, while the towers are on fire, <laughs> yeah. the first plane's already, actually the second plane hit because yeah. they collapsed. These kids are just drinking beer, like, watching it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the one girl's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Yeah. It's oh a wild God. video. What do we do? It's a wild video. Also, if it's the same video, it was I'm like thinking, 10 a.m. too. It's yeah. really early, and they're, well, and they're, they're like drinking out of like canceled. pint glasses. Oh. Classes are canceled. Let's get a couple brewskis, watch the fire. Oh my God. But they also, if it's the same video, I'm thinking there were people jumping. Oh, I and didn't they were see filming. that in the video. They claimed there was no jumpers. Who? Pictures oh, of jumpers? I'm thinking of the Great Depression. My bad. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> there's there's a whole no, lot of jumpers. Yeah, they there was no jumpers. The Great Depression. When the, on the stock market crash? Yeah, they're like nobody actually jumped. I'm thinking of two different things. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's like a, there's that famous photo of the dude like head first yeah. going down. I don't think he's ever been identified. Probably not. I mean, jump from fucking falling man. high up. Yeah, true. It's a scary vid, dude. Yeah. No, I mean, you think somebody from the picture would be like. Of the dead people will be like that. Oh, yeah. That, that looks dude. like my husband. So what's, yeah. the, what's the thought behind that? It's burned to death or splat? Yeah. yeah, I think I think it was like you couldn't breathe and what you were holding on to was so hot. You had to just let go or jump. Yeah. I'll take the jump over the burn to death. Burn to yeah. death blows, ah. dude. You I don't know if I could tr- get myself to jump. You wouldn't at least try your sneakers I- to grip on the side? See if you can. Yeah, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Just like one time, one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> fire, Me the there. Whole, fire department's watching. He goes going. Squeaky. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna make it. <laughs> Holy shit. He's gonna do it. He's oh nope. He's off. He's off. <laughs> Spit on your hands and wipe your shoes. <laughs> it's like a basketball court. <laughs> no, that, the jumpers was truly the most haunting part of that entire. It's terrible. The jumpers was the scariest part by yeah, far. Yeah, I saw it be on Twitter like two days ago from clips that go oh. hard. On <laughs> clips that go hard. Yeah. <laughs> and the caption was just people jumping out of the twin towers on 9 11. It's so loud when they come. To, it's terrifying. Oh, I blocked dude. all those accounts. Yeah. I don't need to see that shit. I never watched that one. Which one? I saw the description of it. The jumpers. It's from the ground, of, like firefighters. It's just People auto play. Is it audio, yeah. like, oh, audio too? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's loud. Oh, it sounds sound like a fucking terrible, car accident. Dude. Oh, sounds terrible. Yeah, having a jump would. Uh... They didn't say it was so high up though. You could like die before you even hit the ground. Yeah, which can't. It's just not true. You don't think so? No. You don't think you would like suffocate? No. Not People me. skydive. That's that is. Yeah, that is definitely true. Do you think people like caught the plane? Like, like how many people do you oh, think yeah. like, as it was like coming into the building? Like, do you think they were like, like how many people? Do I you mean, think people got that? hit by it. Yeah. Yeah. Like how many? It also like, it also was like, probably died, just like, it's so fast and it's just a huge dude, explosion immediately. Dying in an office job from the like you know technically the most exciting thing ever too. There's a terrible thing about that. Just being so bored. <sighs> yeah. God, nothing's so ever going to happen. Oh, the most, ah! Im- yeah. Yeah. the most important thing that's ever happened yeah. in modern America oh, and dude. the world. What time did the plane hit? Early. Eight, 9.36? I don't know why I thought it was like 8.52. It probably was around that time. Something that adds up to 11. <laughs> I've done the numbers. You are just about to take a call. I think the second bridge. one was 9.30. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it was, it was pretty early. So I remember, I, I, I remember being eight forty six, ten yeah. o'clock when they wheeled the TV. Nine oh three. God damn, that's coffee break time though. They had to wait. There was like fifteen minutes in between. Yeah. Damn. Because the first one, they were like, maybe it was an accident. Yeah, that's yeah. insane. Second one, they were like, whoa. Did you ever see a plane fly real low and you're like, it's yeah, yeah. Crash. I think about it every single time. <laughs> like, oh fuck. I'm right next to fucking oh, yeah. LaGuardia. I see planes coming low. I'm like, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> Just part of, is there a part of you deep down? Coffee. Part of you deep down that's like, come on. I want to see. One. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, but that's of Did course. You see an A380 course. just but slam yeah. into a building. Yeah, for sure. But that's just the worst part of you. you yeah, know. just a sick idea from your animal soul. Yeah, yeah. 
Like if I see when I'm looking at the tr World Trade Center from far away, yeah, and I'm like crossing, that must have been like fucking crossing the bridge. I think about see. where people must yeah. have been when it happened. Ish. Like on the on the uh, yeah. George Washington Bridge would have been insane. Dude. Oh, the, yeah, all that. What a uh, truly tragic event. Yeah, but the guy testing out Spider Man is so funny. Is funny. Just, <laughs> just like, especially if somebody else saw him, just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, dude, did you just try it? It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm trying anything. <laughs> parachute man would have been so sick, dude. Oh, dude. Yeah, a parachute man would have been. You know they got parachutes up there now. I, I if I was up would. that, if I was that high up, I'd have a parachute I'd, on. Yeah, absolutely, sure. dude. Wingsuit, something. Yeah, wingsuit would be wild. Have, <laughs> having never even tried the wingsuit. <laughs> 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 bam, 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 bam. <laughs> straight, <laughs> straight to another building, right in the Tower Seven. I'd land in the Hudson oh, yeah. for sure. Just coast right coast in, coast right in, and yeah. drown in your parachute. <laughs> <laughs> True. Got out of that burning. What's the second worst death? Ah, shit. Yeah, but you have your survival knife. You go. Oh, Definitely cut that off. <laughs> Definitely. That's I have thing. no doubt I'd be able to parachute into a body of water and cut it loose. <laughs> right. can, can you speak any Korean? I know, Anyang Aseo. Yeah. BQ means move. I Get had, out of the way. I had, Shiba meet, I had to meet a, a lot of Korean parents. What's that? Well, what, Korea, what is going on? You, you speak Korean. You, you, know, you can't speak Korean? breaking out Korean. What do you mean? Oh, oh, you know Korean. And you guys both know <laughs> Korean? <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> BQ. Yeah. Shiba. I almost, I almost converted. You converted to Korean? I almost converted for a couple of women. Mm, yeah. yeah. I, they, learned, I was learning karate. I was doing everything. You did it. You I was doing my bar mitzvah, my Korean. <laughs> <laughs> you get your you get your I foreskin back from your parents to have it surgically attached to your eyelids. <laughs> 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 Just cut it in half. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, got I, got pulled over. I got pulled over by cops leaving our billies. And they thought I was undercover. Oh, yeah. yeah. The cops did? The cops thought I was an undercover cop. So they were like, pull over. We got to chat. I, I look like a cop that much. They pulled me over, and I was like, what the fuck did I do wrong? You, you were they probably dressed up. like a kid who went to high school to buy drugs. Yeah, so. <laughs> for real. <laughs> they pulled me over, and the guy goes, 369? And I was like, damn, thing's fine. I thought he was, I swear to God. I thought he, I thought he said a yin-yang twin lyric. He goes, 369? Damn, thing's fine? And they were like, no. We thought you were an undercover. <laughs> You're like, these cops are doing riddles. <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I'm... So, I wasn't putting up numbers in the gym with yeah. the boys. And were they mean to you about it? or I just, I couldn't, I couldn't float. And then I got into debate. And you got into debate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I regret I never joined the debate club. <laughs> what? That's awesome. That's we, all? Yeah, that's fucking tight. We would have been, been best up, friends, dude. We would have been boys. We would have been best friends. Did you we, ever go up against any of the, the, like, the black debate team? <laughs> No. <laughs> Have you ever no, seen those like videos? Those, Compton, Compton, Compton Compton those videos are amazing. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Okay, because you you say it's fitting to be this way. Why can't it be the other way? Why can't it be the other way? If you it's fitting to be one way, one this motherfucker videos. says it's, it's just arguing. Yeah. Well, well, they, they, just they like also drop, they drop N, too. Yeah. What well, team they, is this? Well, they do. They do. There's a one format which I didn't do was policy debate, mm -hmm. and it, like they do so like Def Jam. You have like ten minutes. You have ten minutes to get out as much evidence as possible. So they're like they learn speed reading. You have to prove. The Holocaust. Um, I think it's settled. I think it's settled. I think it's settled. Shane, I think it's settled. I would love to see that the Jewish debate team versus the black debate team on the Holocaust as to whether or not the Holocaust. Listen, even we gave you record contracts. If it happened, where the boats? Okay. Where the okay. Jewish slave ships? Where the boats? Listen, you sold. They know you. boats couldn't happen. <laughs> How to get the Jews in? There's starting to be some black Israelites going in on slavery. Never happened. I really? heard the North Atlantic the North Atlantic slave trade never happened. I'm loving because they were they were in North America. <laughs> yeah, they were the Native Americans. I've heard, so that I've heard that the black pe black black people were the Native Americans. That's such a no sick such cope, thing. dude. Just be like, nah. -uh. <laughs> you know they're <laughs> about slavery. <laughs> they're, they're they're crunching. That didn't happen, dude. <laughs> they're cr I, I do agree, dude. I I go I go like I'll do like an Alan Watts chill step mix and a thousand yeah. jump ropes, and then I'll do like. Two machines of my, whatever machines aren't occupied. Like, well, that was nice of the guy today to I'm take it easy. I mean, it was still hard for me, but he was like, "We can't." Get, what happens is people sign up for these things, or they go to the gym and just they're like, "I'm a hundred percent in." Yeah, and then they quit right yeah, you away. Take it easy. Yeah, you gotta go. Like, We're gonna ease you into this. Yeah, you just don't want to be an old person who like can't use their body. Yeah. It yeah, stinks. I mean, I did a squat in front of him, and you should have heard my knees. 
It's like, <laughs> he's like, does that hurt? I was like, no, he's like, all right, well, then keep going. <laughs> I was like, no, it doesn't hurt. Sometimes it hurts. <laughs> You'll be surprised, though, man. I'm telling you, I used to, uh, I'm an A certified personal trainer. I worked at LA Fitness for two days. Six hours? Two days. Yeah. Two, one of them was an orientation, but the yeah. fucking two days. But Day I, one. I work worked with one of my life. boys. Dude, I worked with one of my boys, <laughs> and he couldn't do like a single body. His knees were like twisted yeah. and stuff. I had him running miles, dude, after a while. You could, you'd be surprised how much you can turn it around. No, I've done it. I've turned around to being a real fat. Really? After I quit football, I was like 320 pounds. You hit fat bottom. I was a fat bottom girl, and I did hit rock bottom. <laughs> I hit fat bottom. <laughs> fat bottom came when I was at Hershey Park, and the guy in front of me, who was a little smaller than me, couldn't fit on the Great Bear. And I stood there quaking for them. <laughs> it's like, dude, if they can't close a fucking roller coaster thing over me, I was just sitting there one notch. I was like, yes, oh. that's enough, dude. The thing was like, oh. <laughs> it pops open. <laughs> oh my god, that's fat rock bottom. Dude. When you're next in line on a roller coaster, you you're like, I hope I can it. fit on this roller coaster. I think all fat bottoms occur at like amusement parks. Oh yeah, you get tired walking. You're yeah. like, what the fuck? You get a little friction on the water slide. You're... <laughs> it squeaks like you're on a basketball court. <laughs> I did. Yeah, you remember me on the water slide in South Carolina? You were dude. looking good on those things. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. Let's we gotta, get we gotta get out of here. We gotta, hey much. guys, big night tonight. Yeah, Probably, I'm gonna night. bomb and drive home. Be like, come on, Sean. I'm gonna leave Sean here. And leave you should it. be. If you bomb, <gasps> you have to be mad at Sean. I, have, I, I feel good. I'll have fun. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm at the it's point just of my life. Bros. I feel like I just have fun and stuff. Big and J. I, it's Big J's show. Yeah. yeah. It's just gonna dirty. be. It's gonna be a good crowd. Dirty. You don't have to be dirty. You can do whatever you want. Ooh, nasty's different. I'll be nasty. You are. You're a nasty fucking guy. You are a nasty little fuck. A little nasty. You dirty little bitch. Little fucking nasty. Dude. I would fucking, oh my God, dude. wait till I get strong. I'm going to bulldog you have sex with you. <laughs> I'll be, dude, I'll be fucking getting. You think you're laughing, dude? No, I know. Guess, who's, be, no, guess no. who's getting it first believe thing me, in the believe morning? Me, I'm, first thing, I'm worried about it. I'm game plan. First thing in the morning. You know how I'm going to warm up? Walking yeah. through your room. Because you like to fuck with people now. I know. Wait till you're strong. Wait till there's power. You should have seen me in high school. Yeah. Just I would do wrestling moves to my friends <laughs> constantly. <laughs> The whole squad oh, has God. to level up, dude. The whole squad oh, must get jacked because yeah. there's a storm coming. <laughs> <laughs> if I keep these box jumps up, yeah, box dude. steps, pardon me. <laughs> True, but you'll be box coming. jumping soon enough. Guys, if I'm box jumping, there's a world of hurt headed your way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking that out on somebody. Yeah, the last thing we need is you explosives. <laughs> <need> explosives. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll see. It. We'll see, guys. I mean, there's there's a solid chance I... Uh, I quit. Do not. Don't. Do don't, it. bro. I don't think I will. I don't think Can't, I will. You cannot. I'm going to have fun doing it for a little while. Yeah. What's um, what's the over... You got to set the plan, dude. I'm just going to keep doing it. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah I did more, it once. I'm more of a day-to-day -day guy. I did it today, and I was fine. Set a definite time frame, like one year. Year's a good commitment. Yeah. Do a year, dude. I'll do whatever the I'm fuck I want. A, dude. I'll I like, quit I like, right now if you keep yeah, talking to me like yeah, that. Yeah. If you talk to me like that, I'll quit right now. You quit right now. You'll regret the you rest have a of your life. Problem, <laughs> you have a fucking problem, dude. You have a fucking problem. Matt, you're a problem with me. You, if you shouldn't quit. talk to me like that. Why? It's for your own goddamn good. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Looks like I have legs. <laughs> Dude, you can't even do a that's box. That's what I'm trying jump. to tell you, dude. Look at the skin tone, dude. That's a real leg. That's, like, that's not my real leg, dude. That's a graft. Um, <laughs> oh, they can't see it. It's behind your food. Yeah, dude. That's not a real leg. <laughs> it's a fucking. That's like Barbie. That's like a thousand Barbies they melted down. It's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. You ordered that food to hide your legs, dude. You think about it. when you have fake legs, it's all you're like. Wait, how does this camera look? It's gonna catch. True. Me. Am I gonna? Am I gonna bling? I don't want to bling on camera. What how come you chose it? regular gotta, legs and not like the blades? Matt would obviously Matt obviously has real legs because he would have gotten bladed. <laughs> There's zero oh, doubt. Yeah, two pirate hooks would, for my you toes. You would be dude. bladed up. You'd be 100 percent walk around. On I would have got. I would have honestly. I would got eagle feet. You would have had the hooks. Dude. <laughs> I would have got eagle feet with workable talons. Dude, I would have snatched you up. Dude. You would have lost a mapster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have let's to go. Let's eat. Let's, right. eat. let's eat. Let's eat. All right. We have to.